you listen to growing up? Like, did you listen to a lot of different eclectic music? You know, like, what was what was your I influence? I didn't, but my family did. My family mm-hmm. did. You know what I mean? Because um, I grew up in a Christian household. You know what I'm saying? So it was all Shirley Caesar and the Mighty Clouds of Joy and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff in my house. You know, my uh, my my grandmother was religious. Um, my aunt Susie was religious. That's, that's my uncle Ike. Uncle Ike, he was worldly. Like you know, he was the one that worked at the. Um, he was the one that worked at the school board and stuff like that. And he had the cars, the BMWs, and everything. You know, had his money together. You know what I'm saying? So he would bring home stuff. Sing. He would come home singing stuff like. You make me feel like dancing. Yeah. I want to dance the night away. Yeah. And Benny, Benny in the jazz, all that. You know, he, yeah. he, he would bring all that music home. But yeah. next door, the Reese's, you know, we, we, this is 904 Michigan, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we down in the project. Next door was the Reese's. They had Blowfly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Rap Dirty, bro. Right, right. So when I heard Rap Dirty, I'm like, I'm in the Christian house. Yeah. I want to rap dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rap dirty. I used to go to their house all the time, Corey. Yeah. All the all the time just to hear it because I couldn't hear it in my house. Yeah. Damn. You okay. Know? So you grew up kind of sheltered then. Kind of I mean, you can say that yeah. because my family, you know, I was in the I was in the choir. You know, right. everybody talking all this devil worship bullshit with Tech Nine, <laughs> but we, yeah. I grew up in a Christian house. I went to right. Rock and Temple Church of God in Christ, man. Wow. Like right on, right, right on Vine. You know what I'm wow. saying? So it's like, it's like, um, I was in the Sunshine Band. I was going to church every day of the week because my grandmother was a part of the sewing circle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And my auntie with the choir, and mm-hmm. then us with the choir, and then whatever meetings they used to have. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about. We went to we went to church Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, man. You know what wow. I'm saying? That makes sense. You know, I know your uncle Ricky. Uh, yes. Yeah, I went to church with him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, when he, he became went to a Baran. pastor. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When he used to go yeah. to Baran, this was back in the '90s. My my <laughs> uncle Ricky is the one who taught me. To... Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> he, used to, he used to do it at the he used to do it at the dinner table and uh-huh. the breakfast table. And when he would start beating, Ike will start taking his glass and doing uh-huh. ding 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 ding. Uh-huh. And my mom will start clinking her her, her they would they would all be doing it when I was little and I'd just be looking in amazement. Yeah. So I learned it. You know, yeah. You know, Ricky taught me that. Ricky wow. taught me that rhythm. Yeah. So from from that from beating on the table and stuff, started, it came to beating on my chest, all yeah. that rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Started at the table yeah. with Ricky, man. Oh, that's you know? crazy. That's crazy. That probably, that probably would help with your, you being able to rap in those cadences and catch them pockets and understand that, that's that metronome. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly that what is, it is. Because yeah. <laughs> from rhythm came rhyme, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like rhythm came from the table and then I started, I was a dancer before I was a rapper. I was a pop locker and break dancer, mm-hmm. MC Hammer dancer and all that. So mm-hmm. when I'm when I'm rapping now, it's like, follow me, follow me. All around the planet, I run the gamut on psychology. They can yeah. never manage me to damage with no apology. Pick them off the panic, a real man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm popping, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's hitting. <laughs> it's doing everything. Bop, 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 bop. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. from dancing came my style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hitting all the pockets, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Because, I, I, you know, some of the shit that you've done, uh, lyrically, and you know, I used to rap fast. And yep. when you hear that, I'm, I'm like, how the fuck did he catch the beat like that? How did he even <laughs> find that fucking pocket to do that? Because when you do it, you understand how difficult and intricate it could be. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yes. And I'm like, fuck, I wouldn't even have caught because you you really got to hear it a certain kind of way. Yeah. You know, when something's off beat <clears throat> for me, it feels like my equilibrium is off. That's why it's hard mm-hmm. for me to listen to the newer rappers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because Niggas is off beat, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's fucking with my equilibrium. I'm like, God damn. You know, like like blue blue face, blue face is like, you have me like, God damn. Come on, face. Come on. Ah, shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That, he, hey, blue face be in front of that bitch. He be on side of the beat, behind the yeah. beat. All that shit. Everywhere yeah, but man. on that so, motherfucker. So when something's off beat for me, yeah. it feels funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when I'm doing my shit, it's like a surgeon. You know yeah. what I mean? I, when, when I'm when I'm sitting down writing, 
I'll get the idea and I have this little dictaphone recorder mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll just do <clears throat> styles with the beat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. I put words to that motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever, whatever I'm talking about at the time, you know what I'm ah. saying? Because I always got to have some content with it. But I'll, I'll kind of hear the rhythm to the beat first. Oh, you know so you'll saying? do like a, a reference of the staccato of how you going to catch yes. the beat and then fill it yes. in. Oh, that's dope. Yep. That's dope.